10 products that I love, that I use all the time, that I use every day, that I would replace the minute I use them up, that I'd replace even before I use them up, just so I wouldn't use them up. So that's what I'm going to talk about today. Now, this is something that a number of other creative beauty artists that have also used this same idea. People like um, uh, Tamara's Timeless Beauty, uh, Lisa J, Marnie, Miss Go Ms. Golden Girl, Marnie, um, let's see, Lisa La, Ro Lisa La Rose, uh, Beauty by Dez, uh, The Hooded Lid, am I missing anybody? Um, I think I've got, I, oh, and The Pampered Wolf. So they've all done a video about their favorites. And I thought I'd do it also. So that's what we're doing today. Now, if I sound funny, it's because I've got one of my beauty products in my mouth. So I was thinking, all right, what are the 10 beauty products that you would recommend or that you love? And one of them, and I thought, well, where does beauty start? One of them is whitening strips. So I've got my these 3D whitening strips in my mouth because I, I looked in my mouth and I thought, you know what? You need to do this, Sandy. So I'm going to take, take it out and... Okay. Hey, there we go. So that's the first thing I do. Now let me I'm gonna I know what I looked like this morning. Oh my god, it's a miracle. Um so I would say this morning my teeth looked kind of yellowy. You know, I've just started drinking coffee and wow, it cleaned it up. Now how long have I had it in my mouth? Um I'd say maybe, actually, maybe I had it in my mouth for an hour, but I've also done it for a half hour. I needed to do it, but I, I, I didn't even pay attention. So that's one. So that, that's the first thing. If you're going out, if you're going to be going to a party, I think one of the things that make people look younger is a fresh white teeth. And not the ones that are too white because those look fake, but just start putting these on your teeth and you'll see a difference. And you know what? I even had my teeth whitened by laser and it didn't work as well as these Crest White Strips. They're not paying me, it, it just works. So highly, you know, when, you, when you're planning on going out, I really recommend you start using these strips. The other, wait a second. Oh, and the other thing is to whiten your eyes. Now, I, the one I recommend is Lumify, but I can't use them. It, they hurt my eyes. They're, and so I, when I, I went to the doctor recently and I told him that, you know, my eyes hurt with, with these eye drops. And he, he looked at them and he said, it's, you, you're allergic to one of, the, one of the products. Now, I would never know that, but my eyes hurt and he told me I was allergic. But he said that I could use something like Visine. I don't use, you know, you don't want to get um, addicted to it, you know, where you have to use it all the time. That isn't good. But before I do a video, before I would go to a party, before some special events, I would put drops in because otherwise my eyes look uh, red because I have to use a special medicine to you know, I've got glaucoma, so I have to use a special medicine and it irritates my eyes. Um, so I use Visine. So I put in Visine and I put in the white drops before, uh, not the white drops, I put on the crest crest strips before I uh, did did this video. Now, the reason that I'm my I'm dry and that I need to have some water is because whenever I use those white strips, my, my mouth gets dry. Other things that I could not, that I use all the time that I love. Now, this is going to be interesting. There, wait a second. Do you see this brush? This is by RMS Beauty. And you know, Rosemary um, White is the, um, the head of it. And she, dem she talks about this brush and it's a fabulous brush because, you know, it's wide, it's short, and the way I put on, when I put on my eyebrows, they, it makes them thicker. 
so I don't use a pencil anymore. I use, well, wait a second, I use powder and it's the way of putting it on that this keeps it straight, you know, and, and I love this brush. I've got gazillions of brushes, but I don't have a brush like this for my eyebrows. So I use this and now this is gonna, this is, what can I, so this is, I guess you'd say number three. Um, what the I what I use is a powder. I use a powder on my eyebrows and I use both of these, which is crazy. You don't need to do it. I, I accidentally bought, well, I didn't accidentally. You know, I guess it's the artist showing through, but I wanted to have lots of choices of color. Now, again, Rosemary White said, I was using, I was going for gray, very cool eyebrows, thinking that that's what I should do. And she said, no, you should go for the eyebrows you had when you were young. Okay, so I I went, you know, well, I did a 360 or a 180 and went for warmer colored eyebrows and darker, not gray to match my hair, but the eyebrows I had when I was young. So what I do is I mix this color and this color and I just mix them together when I'm putting on my eyebrows and that's how I get the color I want. So I no longer use a pencil. I no longer, I don't worry about a color because both of these aren't orange. It's, it, you know what, it works for me. I can't tell you to get two of these boxes, but find a, I find that a powder works better for me. And you know what I'm going to do? On my next video, I'll put on these products. So it's not only talking about them, but you'll see, you know, I'll start without makeup and I'll put these products on. But I, I've been using it ever since I discovered this brush and these two powders. I mean, it's silly to have two of them, right? I should find just one color, but I guess that's, as I say, the artist in me. Um, something else, oh my goodness, I love, okay. I love this brush. This is BK Beauty 101, and that's how I've been putting on my foundation. I love, I put, you know, on my face, and I put this on, and I love this brush. I don't use a beauty blender anymore. I just use this brush. I love it. What I just realized is when I wash my brushes, I don't have to wash 50 brushes. All I have to do is wash the brushes that I use all the time. And that's this one, this one, some of the smaller ones I'll show you, but maybe five or 10 brushes, not 10, maybe one, two, three, four, let's say five, six, seven, let's say seven brushes. That's nothing, I can do that. So that's a, a oh, let me give you another tip. So another tip is, wait, maybe this comes off, okay, is to make, you know, brushes that you use all the time, put some, some nail polish around them so you can find them. Well, this one, I well, can I? Okay, I'm putting it around it. Now there's one other, there's a brush I never can find. This one, I'll show you how I use it. I never can find it. There's something about it that I'm always searching. I spend more time searching for it. I've got a, I've got some nail polish down here. So I'm gonna put this on and then I'll be able to use it or find it. There we go. So those are the, this brush I never can find. This I have in a special place and I usually can find this one. Okay, the, the foundations that I've been loving are this is Dior Forever, and I think it's Dewey, and what, you're going to laugh, 1CR, uh, Forever, Dior Forever Skin Glow, and the Estee Lauder Futurist Hy Hydra Rescue. So I've been using both of these and loving both of these, and what happened was I've replaced, so I've, I'd run out of this and I've, re I've replaced this, so I bought this. I'd say two or three times. And then I ran out of this. And the reason I didn't have it nearby was because it was in my purse. I was taking it to Sephora to get another one to make sure that I remembered the, you know what I could have done? 
I could have just taken a picture of it, right? But I've been looking all over the house trying to find this and it just dawned on me that it was in my purse. So I, I like, I really like this uh, Dior uh, Forever also. It's got a very moist look to it. Um, let me see what, what else I've got here. Uh, another thing that I use all, that I've been using all the time is this Dior, it's, it, 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 what's it called? Dior Maximizer 3D. My lashes have been looking so good since I've started using this, it, I, this maximizer. So I put it on and then I put on mascara. Now lately I've been using this um, Lancome Idole and I'm going through a lot of them. Can I say this is my absolute favor, favorite? I'm not sure, but right now it is. And I love it. And let me look at my eyelashes. I mean, you would think that I'm using some kind of, 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 um, you know, lash longer maker. I'm not. It's these. It's using this Dior. They've also got it in L'Oreal Volumizer. So there's another. So you can go either way with the Dior or the L'Oreal Volumizer, and then this Idole or your favorite mascara. I'm loving it. Is this three? Is this four? You know what? I forgot to count. Um, I'm not sure how many this is going to be. I said it was 10, but it could be more or it could be less. What have I done so far? Oh, well, you're not counting, are you? Uh-uh. Okay, so then, so my eyes, something I've been using. Oh, no, before I, oh, you know what? I am loving, this is It Cosmetics and it's Bye Bye, did I talk about it? Bye Bye Under Eye. You know what? Everybody has, the, I'm loving this. It, now it's thick, it's not thin, it's thick. It's, but I use a, a refer brush, you know, I don't use a soft, um, you know, a soft brush. So the refers are kind of stiff and I put it on my hand and then I, I put it on and it's fabulous. It's thick. It's, how can I describe it? It's great. It's better than anything I've used. And I don't have to change the color. All I have to do is use this. It's very light. And I put that on. I mean, you can't, I mean, do you see, do you see? Well, I mean, I've got dark circles. We can't, I mean, I'm at 83, what do you expect? But it really works. And then what I do is I put on, so how many, what number is that? Uh, what if I, oh, well, so this is another, it's another number. Maybe that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Maybe it's six. If you're counting, it could be more. Um, what, oh, then the, th the other things are, I love these caviar sticks. Now I know how you can use them up because I thought, how do people use these up? So these are the Laura Mercier caviar sticks and I love making my eyes up with them. It's fast, it's easy, it's not, you don't have to think about it. it. So I'm loving these. So I'm actually using them up. So I'm very proud of myself. So I use the, the Vanilla Kiss and the Eau Naturelle. And I mean, I don't know if you, if I looked at myself, um, I wouldn't say, you know, she's got a lot of um, eye makeup on. So I'm, I do love these caviar sticks. So I also love, you know, this kind of is a one and done. It's, um, it's uh, Charlotte Tilbury's uh, Eyes to Mem Mesmerize. And I'm just going to put it on now because I forgot to put it on. But it just puts a little sheen on my eyelids. So I'm just going to put this on. So this is, I mean, do you think that I could use this up? I don't think so. I mean, look, I mean, I've used some of it, but it would take me a long time. Uh, so the, the caviar sticks, the eyes to mesmerize, you could do this, you know, just dip your finger in, put it all, all over, all the way up and you're done, right? After I put on the Bye Bye Under Eye and I smooth it with a brush, um, I then put on this uh, Pat McGrath 
let me find the look here it is oh it's sticking then I use this brush and I use this to you know powder it so I love this Pat McGrath I don't what's the kind of powder is it I just Pat McGrath labs light there that's the name actually a friend of mine um, Peg Fitzpatrick told me all about it. She's a big social media maven. She's writing a book. We'll all have to read it. Um, and so she's the one who told me about this. And of course I bought it immediately and I've been using it ever since. Have I made a dent in it? I have. Look, the, the dome is no longer round. So this is another thing that I would get another one of. And I like that it's small. Okay. Uh, by the way, when I was when I was getting dressed, something. This is the second one I've got of this. This is the Bobby Brown balm, and I use this. Um, this is another thing that I'd replace that I have replaced. So I think that's so that tells you something. Um, what are the other things that I use? I haven't been wearing bronzer lately because I like the look of the what would you say the winter look of just light skin with some um, um, blush now I treated myself I've been hearing everybody raving about the clay de Pau blush and so I treated myself and I bought it for myself it's really it's expensive but I love it I love the color, yes, but also I love it has staying power and it goes on so smoothly. So I, this is a treat to myself, the Clay de Peau blush, brush, blush. But for sure, you know, I was at, I, where was I? Well, I think I was at the market. No, maybe I, I, you know what? I was at Sephora and I was looking at this woman of a certain age and her skin was very pale and she had blush on, but it was just, it, it looked, it didn't look good because she didn't blend, she didn't blend it. So even though this is fabulous blush, you have to blend it. Otherwise it looks like you've just put blush on. You could, it just doesn't work if you don't blend it. So I don't care what you use. You've got to blend your blush as you, same as your bronzer. So I, this is a, this is a brush I've had. You can't even see the number of it, but this is another thing I couldn't. Pro Airbrush O oh, Natural. It's 55. I don't even think they've got it anymore, but it's a Sephora brush and it's, um, I use it all the time for, for blending. Uh, so that's another thing that is a part of my 10. And as I say, I've lost count. Um, so I use bronzer, blush. Uh, what is this? This is something else. So this is, uh, Painterly by Mac. So there are days where I just I just want to get out of the house and look like halfway decent. I use you can see that this is it's painterly. It's kind of skin color, and it, you can almost you can use it as a base. And I just put it on my lids up to my um, eyebrows, and it's it it looks really nice. It looks very finished, but it's no it's not a big deal. So this is another thing that it's one of those staples that one must have and one must one must get another one when one's finished with it what else have i gotten to 10 yet um i don't i don't know i've lost count but there is something else and that is lipstick now you guys know that i love lipstick and you know that i've been on a coral orange binge warm orange you know thing well so i i haven't opened this up well yes i did because i had to put lipstick on but i'm going to show you how many lipsticks i go out of the house with this is i keep this this is from lisa does it say this is uh lisa eldridge you got these when you first bought lisa eldridge's lipsticks so let's count the lipstick Wait, did I tell you about the bronzer? Wait a second. Did I tell you about this bronzer that I adore? And this is by Bobby Brown. I bet you've heard me tell you about it. It's Stonehenge. Stonehenge? Stone Gate. Stone, Stone Street. There, I got it, right? 
So this is Stone Street. I love it, but I haven't been wearing it because I've been so excited about the blush and the kind of the look of the pale skin and the blush and that that's it, you know, kind of a very simple look. But come the summer, you know what I'd like to do is I think come the summer, I, I love this, I wouldn't mind having it in a cream. I wonder if I'll be able to find it. I'm gonna look for a cream bronzer. I haven't found it so far. I love this one though. It looks so good, but you almost, I, I, because I've been looking for things with more of a creamy look as one does when one ages, um, this is a, take a look at this Stone Street. That's all I can tell you. It's great. And maybe I'll put Stone Street underneath the, the blush, right? Because then it'll be creamy. And I do have, well, wait, you know, I'm getting off on a tangent because I've also got a makeup by Mario that has a, well, let's just go with the ones that I can't do without. Okay, then, okay, lipstick. So how many lipsticks do I have in here? I didn't count them. I've got this, you know, I love this um, compact and I love it because, well, first of all, I love the color, but then I never know how to open these things. Wait a second. How do they, oh, okay, this way. But it's got a little bit of a illuminator here. And I love, you know what? I'm gonna put a, a dot, dot on. Do you see it? Just a little bit of a shine. Anyway, um, lipsticks. So I've got one, two, three, four, am I missing one? I've got four lipsticks in here that I can't, maybe five, four. Okay, so the one I'm wearing today, everybody asks me what it is. It's the Tom Ford Twist of Fate, and that's the one I'm wearing today. Then I've got BK Beauties. I love this. This is a bright Empower. These, these are all lipsticks I would replace in a minute. This I can't replace. It's a Christian Dior. I loved it, but it's almost all used up. I love it though, but they don't have it anymore. So you can't use it up. Now this lipstick, I get a kick out of this. I tried it on during COVID. What have I, the other things I've got in here, a lip pencil. Don't ask me why. I've got this mascara by um, MAC and it's called Smoky, I think, mascara. Don't ask me why it's in there. Then I've got glue. Then I've got what? I've got some lip balm from Estee Lauder. I've got some glue for my nails in case my nail falls off. And I've got a, um, a, a lip pencil by, uh, from Nicole Johnson. I believe it's in, the, in uh, Organza. I had this. Well, now this is fabulous. Wait, I'm getting off the subject. I, I'm not gonna talk about it. Would I, would I? Okay. So let me tell you about this lipstick. This is by Lisa Eldridge and it's called, can I remember it? It's morning, it's velvet morning. When I first tried this on, it was during COVID. There's, there, there's something about the way I put on lipstick that, that I get it all over the case. Okay, this is velvet morning by Lisa Eldridge and it's a, it's a wonderful color. Can I put it over this? Oh, I got some lipstick on my... Now, when I first tried this on, I thought it was so strong that I thought, you know, maybe I'd only wear it during the day. Maybe I'd only wear it, you know, just... I, I, was, I, I was intimidated by it. Now, nah. And I bought this NARS, this is called, this NARS lip gloss. Well, I can't see the name of it. Anyway, so I put a little bit here. Dynamite, huh? Okay, so I, you know, to be honest, I got off on a tangent off of my 10. I don't know how many I've been talking about. But everything I've been talking about, 
I have, I love, I've replaced, I've replaced, um, let's see. Well, I can't replace this. They don't have it anymore. But I would buy the, the um, Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize, Bobbi Brown, the lipsticks, the caviar sticks, uh, the MAC Painterly. To be honest, I would replace everything here. And it's things that, they're so basic. Definitely the white strips. Definitely the eye drops. Um, so all of these are pretty simple. And let's see, do my eyes look white? Look, my eyes look, my eyes look um, white and shiny. Uh, let's see what else. My hair looks, it looks like it needs a cut. I'm getting it cut this week. Um, I like the little bit of the um, illuminator on my cheeks. Just on your cheeks. You don't want it all over your face. Just want it on your cheeks, just on the high points of your cheeks. Because it, it's just got a youthful, youthful kind of look. Well, I think that's it. I don't know if it's 10. I don't know if it's 15 or 20. But I, I was trying to keep it at my, you know, my very favorite. So next time, I'll do a get ready with me and use these products so that you can see me putting them on and see how they work. Thank you. I will see you next time. And I'll do a get ready with me. And we'll have another good time. Okay? Okay. I forgot. So remember to subscribe and the algorithm will appreciate it and so will I. Thank you. I say we're going for 10,000, right? Why not? So I say let's aim for 10,000. I'm almost there. I'm 5,100, something like that. We only have 5,900 to go. I'll see you next time.